Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Obo, and today I'm bringing you my EWT Week 8 match. This is the last week of the EWT um, versus our good buddy Johnny. Um, it's been a long time since I've last played Johnny, so kind of a trip down memory lane playing him again. Um, I know it's been a little bit, it's been about a week and a half-ish since I've uploaded a video. I'm behind on uploads, I'm late on uploads, but I have a very good reason. Um, I had one of the main roles in my, I'm a senior in high school, um, and my senior play, so one of the main roles was senior play, had like 58 lines or something, so 56 lines, 50, I, I can't remember the exact number, but I had a lot of lines I had to memorize, I had a lot of play practices late, um, but I did get my matches done each week, I just could not really, I had no time to upload because of school, the play, I needed to sleep, um, and yeah, but let's go ahead and just get into the match, um, I'm just going to try to get this, this upload out there for you guys, so... My lead was always going to be my Infernape. I had a uh, choice band in Infernape. And I was like, oh, excuse me. I thought I could had a, had a pretty good lead against anything. And I could just um, click Flare Blitz on almost anything. As he keeps lead throws right. So I'm like, alright, this is a pretty great lead for me. Um, I can just click uh, Flare Blitz. As he shows he's Scarf with Sleep Powder. Um, so I was kind of like, oh, well, that's some pretty cool tech, I guess. Um... I was like, so that was some heat. But now I'm asleep, so I kind of got to switch out. And I don't really know what else I could do. So, <sighs> sorry, I'm tired. Um, as he goes into Dawn Fan, I might have doubled out. Yeah, I double out, actually, into the uh, into my Aerodactyl. Um, I don't really know why I went Aerodactyl, to be completely honest. Um, I think I was trying to call the uh, Charizard X. Um, because Trezard X might try to just come in and set up on me. Um, but now i got to switch out my Rotom Wash, as he does click Toxic, so he's going to make a really good play there. Um, clicking Toxic. Um, kind of one Rotom Wash in before he clicked Rocks, but he does, he does reveal the Toxic and doesn't click Rocks, so that's pretty good for me. Um, and now he's going to switch out. I am Life Orb, so I'm just going to click Hydro Pump, because I can do a decent amount of damage to this Roserade depending on what his spread is. So I click Hydro Pump, and this does a boatload of damage. Like, that does 45-ish percent to a Roserade, which was insane to me. Sorry, I had to get a drink of water. But that was a lot of damage, and I was like, okay, well, I'll take that. Um, as he doubles out into the Noivern, and I double out into my um, Weezing. So Johnny making another good play, uh, calling my Weezing. <laughs> <sighs> Probably should have clicked Volt Switch there, honestly, because I don't really know any universe he would click the Energy energy Ball or Giga Drain or whatever, so. But now, he clicks Draco and he misses as I click T-Bolt because I have nothing for this mom. Don't have HP Ice on this thing, and I don't remember why. I don't, but it's okay. As he's going to click Draco Meteor here, um, and do a tremendous amount of damage, about 60, 60%-ish, um... And I'm like, well, I have nothing for the... I honestly had nothing for Noivern. So I'm just going to go T-Bolt again and get some damage off. Because um, now he's below half. So I'm like, all right. Well, he's probably going to click Roost here. So I'm going to click Paint Split, calling the Roost as... Um, I thought he was either going to switch out or click Roost. So I was like, I think he has Roost. So I'm going to click Paint Split. And I do make a good play and call that. So now I'm, I'm at a little bit above half. And as Noivern has to switch out because he's minus two... On special attack, but here he goes out into his Houndoom as I double out into my Mill Tank, I believe. Um, yeah, I double out into my Mill Tank, um, and here I think I, I I reveal some tech I had. I had this tech for the Celestilla, so it couldn't um, uh, not for the Celestilla for the Charizard X. My bad. I think, I don't know, I can't remember what it was. It was for something, but I revealed the Whirlpool, so some cool tech. I can't remember why I brought Whirlpool, um, but it ends up working out for me. And yeah, so now I'm going to be able to uh, just click Whirlpool again because I don't want to switch out and I want to see how much damage he does, as he does a lot of damage. Um, Life Orb Pound Doom is no joke. Um, I click Whirlpool again, and now after that and the Whirlpool damage, he's going to be below half. So now I believe I switch out. Um, yeah. Oh, excuse me, I switch out in my front ape. Uh, sorry, I'm so tired. I might take a nap after this, after I record this. But I still gotta record PBAL week three, um, and week four match, actually. And then I also gotta record, uh, SNDL 
But I also had a college visit, too, last weekend, so I had literally no time to record anything. But I switched to Infernape trying just to sack it or whatever, and I'm now I I don't wake up, and so I'm just like, well, I'm just going to sack my Infernape because at this point I really don't feel like having to wait for it to wake up. So I'm just going to end up sacking this mon. Um, it is piss pouring the rain outside, dog. Wow. I don't know why. I just, I have like, like these little, these big ass blinds. It's like, they're called French something. I don't know. And I can just look out of them. Um, but now I'm going to go into Aerodactyl and I'm just going to click Stone Edge because his only switch is the Dom Fan. And if he goes Dom Fan, then I can just, um, deal with it. But he goes Clefable, so I'm like, okay, let's just scout to see how much damage this does. I just click Stone Edge and I do close to half. So I'm like, okay, well. I'm just going to click Stone Edge here. Or I think I go Rotom. No, I think I just click Stone Edge again. Yeah, I click Stone Edge again. He was he went Dawn Fantasy 5 Z still like still wing or something or Z Iron Head. But I just click Stone Edge again. I literally have nothing for Dawn Fan. I actually cuz sometimes like past couple of weeks um I've been not for um EWT but for um, like couple, a couple of weeks, I just use the same like for uh, BBR. I just use the same team because I don't have time to prep for that league. And I mean, I'm and it's not a very serious league for me. I'm just kind of like playing it to have fun. Um, and I am having fun. Um, but he kind of use same teams. But this week I actually prepped, and I don't know why I didn't have Ice Fang for the Dom Fan because now my Aerodactyl can't touch the Dom Fan. But I'm gonna go coughing, or I'm gonna go wheezing on the uh, Dom Fan as he goes out to the. Do it for making it a really good play. Come on, my pants wet. I'm so sorry that I'm tired. I don't know why I'm so tired right now. I got actually got a decent amount of sleep. It's Saturday. I'm recording this Saturday morning. I'm probably going to get it up Saturday like afternoon or Saturday morning still. It's 10.50 right now. But, um, yeah, I went to bed at like 12, and then I woke up at 8. So I got 8 hours of sleep, which is like 3 or 4 hours from when I usually get. I usually get 4 or 5. Um... But yeah, I'm gonna sack my uh, wheezing. At this point, I was like, "Yeah, this is GG. I just lose. I don't like." At this point, I was like, "I I thought I got six owed, um, and now my whole plan is just to see if I can pull it back." Um, but I click Mo Drink here to get my mill tank back at a decent amount of health. Um, back at four, as his Clefable just comes in. Um, now I believe I double out. No, I just get my rocks up. For these Ardex, and for uh, take for Rosary to take chip for everything to take chip. As it clicks Encore, so I'm like, okay, well now I'm, now I have to switch out because I don't feel like staying in and just continuously cl clicking rocks. So um, if he was like set up Clefable here, I'm pretty sure I just lost. So yeah, kind of glad he wasn't that. I go into Marowak. Um, don't really think he's gonna click Moonblast here, but he does. Um, but I don't really have a good switch into it, so I understand. And I'm just gonna sack my Marowak because at this point I I don't I don't even know why I brought Marowak just because it's the last week and I did not feel like uh, I didn't want to bring Zygarde because he had he had Clefable so I was like I'm not bringing it. Um, but now my Marowak's gonna live on one, and I'm just gonna click Earthquake and do literally nothing. I think this does, it does a decent chunk. It does it does more than nothing. Yeah, it does like forty five percent. My bad. My bad, Marowak. Um, I'm just joking. You did a lot of damage. Um, here he's gonna click Moonlight as I click EQ again. Um, no need to try to switch out or predict or anything. I'm just trying to get some damage off on this. Um, oh, I clicked Parashong. I'm dumb. I clicked Parashong. Parashong can't speak. I clicked Paris Parashong. Jesus, I can't talk today. Um, but yeah, I clicked that, so I lied. I did not click Earthquake. I don't know why I didn't click Earthquake to get some damage off. Um, but now he's gonna click Moonblast. And he is going to kill me. <sighs> Frick, I'm so tired. Now I go into Rotom Wash because at this point I was like, I don't know what I do to this thing. I just know he has to switch out now um, because of Parish Song. So, yeah. So I go to Rotom Wash and I'm just going to click Hydro Pump. Oh, I take no hair there. I was watching Netflix on my phone and I just opened my phone and I had it on. Um, but I click Hydro Pump and I land and I do so much freaking damage. Jesus, that was a lot of damage. Um... As he clicks Moon Blast, and he's not going to be able to kill me. Um, and I'm not going to die to Toxic, so that's great. So I am going to be able to kill him next turn. 
Um, hoping he doesn't want to overpredict and go into anything. I don't really know what he could go into. Anyways, um, but yeah, so I finally get a kill, and I kill the, uh, um, Clefable with Hydro Pump from my Rotom Wash. So, and Rotom Wash is also going to die to, uh, toxic damage. So, <sighs> oh my gosh, so now I go into my Mill Tank, and I'm just going to be able to click, uh, Whirlpool, I believe. Or I click Toxic, my bad. I click Toxic, as, he, as he's going to click Toxic. At this point, I kind of... Oh, my phone went off again. I kind of thought that um, I would be able to win with Miltank, to be 100% honest. Like, I kind of thought I could just stall the rest of his bones out with Miltank. Um, but he does reveal the Toxic, so I was like, well, there goes that plan of just stalling the rest of his bones out. Um, but, um, now I think I double into... I don't really know what I switch into, to be honest. Um, I'm not 100% certain what I do. Um, but, I believe, oh, I click Whirlpool on the, uh, on that, on that switch. So now he's going to be trapped, um, and I don't really know what he's, what he's going to try to do. Um, but, yeah, I click Whirlpool. Or the whirlpool damage. I kind of, I'm kind of rambling. I'm sorry, um, but it clicks defog, and you're gonna see that um, I'm gonna kill with uh, whirlpool. So I will never see that ever again. That uh, that stat that um, mill tank kills Neuvern with whirlpool because the toxic damage doesn't kill us. So that's pretty fire that that killed <laughs> that whirlpool actually killed that. So kind of hyped about that. Um, so now, I'm just like, well, I am i don't know how I'm going to beat this thing, or how I'm going to beat the rest of his team, but I just go hard Aerodactyl here, knowing, like, if he clicks DD, then I live any one move, and I kill with Stone Edge, and if he clicks Flare Blitz or Dragon Claw, I live any one move, and then I just kill with Stone Edge next turn, so I was like, there's no point in even trying, like, I'm, I just got to go aggressive Aerodactyl here. And I am expert belt, so I always kill with Stone Edge. Um, as he clicks SD, and I'm like, okay, well then th that was kind of uh, that's kind of irrelevant because now I just click Stone Edge, and if he if he stays in, I kills, I kill it, and he stays in, I click Stone Edge, and Aerodactyl is gonna pick up a KO for me, so that's great. He texts me, I was like, were you adamant? And I said no, and he's like, well, that had a six percent chance to kill. Then and I was like, I was expert belt, and he was like, ew. <laughs> so yeah, so um, I did pick up another KO. Here, I just click uh, Wing Attack, because I want some damage. As he makes an overplay and clicks EQ, calling my uh, Mill Tank, and I was like, no, 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 no. I'm not overplaying. Um, I'm just staying in, right now at least, um, because he's talked, he's poisoned, so I was like, I actually have a chance to win this game. I thought I did. As he reveals the Eye Shard, and he does a, almost half, um, as I just click Wing Attack again. Um, the next play, I'm kind of confused about, because... Um, if I, cause he clicks CQ as I go into mill tank and he does a lot of damage. If I just stayed in here, like, I don't, I don't really get the risk. I don't really get the reward. Like he gets the reward, I guess, but I don't understand. Like the risk was greater than the reward in my opinion. Like, um, I feel like if I just stayed in, then I kind of, then Aerodactyl would have been healthier and then I would have been in a really good situation cause he has Dawn fan. Roserade and I mean I think Roserade Roserade beat the rest of my team anyway so I don't think it really mattered I don't I don't remember what his third his other mon was Houndoom yeah Aerodactyl did I don't know it would have been I don't know I'm not hundred percent sure but um I feel like if I would just click wing attack there then I would have been a really good spot but then I think Roserade at that point beat Miltank and um, Aerodactyl, depending on how much damage he did, and if he had, depending on what move he had as well, if he had Giga Drain, or what, um, but yeah, so now, um, he's gonna go into his Houndoom, and he's gonna kill my Mill Tank, um, and then, I'm just gonna go Aerodactyl and kill that, but then, it's gonna be Roserade versus Aerodactyl, so Ro Aerodactyl versus the world, but he is Scarf Roserade, which is a really good bring, um, props on Johnny for bringing that, <laughs> Um, so it'll be close to see if he kills me or not, depending on what move he has. Um, but 
Aerodactyl isn't going to go out with a fight. I am going to be able to get one more KO at least. Um, maybe two. I might be able to still win this game. Um, we're about to find out. As a cook wing attack and get a KO. So Aerodactyl put in some good work for me. Um, I really loved using it this season. It, it kind of opened my eyes. I kind of want to use Mega Aerodactyl now, but won't be able to use it in uh, Wi-Fi leagues. He reveals Giga Drain, so I was like, I don't really know if Miltank... Miltank might have been able to pull it out if I just whirlpooled it and just kind of like stalled it out, I guess. I don't know. But that is going to be GG against Johnny. He does win 1-0 against me. Um, great battle to him. And yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought about this match in the comment section down below. It's been a great season, EWT. Really glad I got let in. And yeah, it's going to be Oboe signing off.